it going? So today on Big Sport, we are back for another logo rankings video. We've already gone through sports like the NFL, the NBA, Super League, Super Rugby, NRL, AFL, and there's plenty of sports to do. And today, we're going to be doing the Major League Baseball. Now, I was actually in America this year doing some vlogs in Chicago, and I did a San Francisco Giants vlog as well. We did Chicago Cubs, Chicago White Sox, and the San Francisco Giants in our trip. Not every one of you guys know the in-depth of every single team and every single sport. You know, everyone can enjoy these kind of videos because you don't need to actually watch the sport to actually just have a look at the logos and enjoy them and see them for what they are. But anyway guys, there is 30 different teams on this list, so let's get into smashing them out. We've got to go through quite a lot of teams. So let's go through all 30 Major League Baseball teams and rank their logos from 30 all the way down to 1. <laughs> There's always going to be one logo that literally just, just does nothing. You know, Cleveland Browns in the NFL and the Cleveland Indians in the, in the, in the, in the MLB. Cleveland, what's going on as a city here logo-wise? Like, what's going on as a city here logo-wise? Could you not just, could you not be care? Did you not care? You just, you just don't care about your logo? Because in the Browns, they just got a helmet. And the Indians, they just got to play C. Uh, they got a C. Uh, uh, your last. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm 29. We're gonna pee. I understand it's a pee. You know, Pittsburgh Pirates both start with a pee, you know? Clever. Oh, 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 you clever. Let's move on. Let's, let's, just, let's just move on, man. Let's, let's, let's just move on. Boston Red Sox, who are a fantastic team. Irrelevant though, because their logo is... It's two red socks. Two red socks. I definitely have socks that are embroidered, so you know it wouldn't be too hard to chuck on a B here. You know that will at least it'll be a little bit more creative than just chucking a B there. It's got a B on the red socks. Might have moved it up maybe two or three times. <laughs> Not the one is seven. The San Diego Padres. I get they're trying to get edgy. It's still the S and D. It's still basically just like here's our letters. There's the letters that start our name off. Yeah, as simple as that. Bingo. You happy? Well, guess what? Doesn't matter. I guess it's effective, but it's effectively nearly last. Number 26, the Cincinnati Reds. It's not great. It's not great, but at least it's starting to show signs of a little bit of creativity. The C has a bit of shadow. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. It looks like a teardrop. You know, Cincinnati doesn't have a great reputation to having fantastic sporting teams, so I can understand why it looks like a teardrop, but at least it's starting to show a little Little bit of creativity here, champion. Number 25, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Unfortunately, with this one, I, I, it kind of does come down to the color scheme. Now, I do try and ignore the color scheme when it comes to these because obviously teams and logos can only do what they're given. I don't know, it's still quite bland. It is still quite bland. Yes, I understand. There's the, like the snake tongue in the middle of the A, and I, I kind of understand what they're trying to go for but it doesn't really come off in my opinion. It, it just really doesn't really come off. I think it could have been done really well. I actually think that one of the other logos, now baseball teams actually have quite a few logos, but I'm going based on the actual ones that they are representing when it comes to like on Google, on their Facebook page, on their actual, you know, a website. I'm going by their official one that they represent in the square box that says, this is our team. Arizona Diamondbacks have some phenomenal logos outside of this, but their official one just is another scratch. It's quite bland and just doesn't do it for me. Number 24, and we've got the Oakland Athletics. Now the only reason this is here is because the A looks cool. The A in the middle just looks curvature, it looks coolish. You know, it looks wavy a little bit. Besides that, yet again, bland. It's just a circle, Oakland Athletics, simple as that. But the A is what kind of takes it above the other ones. Now 24 is not something to write home about, but at least it's starting to show Creativity. I just want creativity. That's all I want. I just want. I just want, I just want some creativity, man. The Los Angeles Angels. It's an A. It's cool. You've got the halo. It's really. That's why you're even in this position that you're not last. Or well, one of the bottom three that literally just chuck a letter out there. It's cool to have a halo. I get it. Angels. Ooh, there's a halo around an angel. I get it. It's uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's still basic. Number 22, and we've got the kiss of goodbye, yeah, Chicago Cubbies. So let's go, Cubbies, but uh, not on the logo right It's colourful. It's it, it pops out on your screen, but it's quite basic. It's just got the C for Chicago with the Cubs. I wish I could have rated it higher. Trust me, I really do wish I could have rated it higher, but I'm not biased, man. It's 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 
It does its job. It, it does its job, but it's not great. So number 21, we've got the San Francisco Giants. Now we're starting to see a little bit of creativity here. You know, the Giants is in the front. It's it's looking like it's kind of 3DS. The baseball in the background. Still not exactly a fantastically creative logo, but at least they're trying now. At least they're trying a few more things that are, are coming out of the screen. So number 20, and I have no idea really why the Houston Astros are up this high. I feel like it's just due to the fact that the other logos don't don't really show anything either. But I feel like this kind of does pop out in your screen. I think the color scheme goes really well. The, the blue, the navy, navy blue with the orange and the white and the H is really coming off the screen. Houston Astros is, is quite basic, but the way it's actually written, like the actual font style, I don't mind that font style. It's not like just the basic Times New Roman. I think it's actually generally quite decent. It's it's basic, but it's done quite well. In the top 20 now, we've got the Minnesota Twins. I don't mind this logo. I think it's a little bit wavy. I think it's really kind of, I don't even know what style I'm thinking. I'm thinking like an olden ish day style with the W, but that looks like a really weird W. That, that W is actually starting to mess with me. I'm not too sure what that even represents. I guess it's still the shading of this logo is quite good. When I think of an underline, I think it's making a statement. Now I know this kind of is quite robust and it's very, it's differing to the straight underline that would really make a clear statement. But I get they're trying to make a statement with their kind of intriguing, kind of wavy style of this logo. I think it's really cool. Number 18, and we've got the Washington Nationals. Now, the reason why I'm laughing is because I'm definitely gonna leave it here. It definitely is number 18. And I don't know if this is actually a marketing strategy or an actual tactic they used to kind of make you think that you've seen the logo before, but that W is pretty much exactly the same as Walgreens, which is like a major supermarket chain, like a major shopping chain in America. And that W is literally what the W in Walgreens is. Number 17, and we've got the Texas. Rangers, man, the Texas Rangers. There's not much sharpness in this, but it's it's the, the actual font style. I like the font style of Texas and Rangers. I just feel like everything in this logo comes together quite nicely. Dark red, navy blue really comes well together. Now yeah, I think this is I think this has been done pretty well, man. I think this has been done pretty well for what they've got. Guess what? Number 16. You won't guess this right. We've got the Seattle Mariners. I know. Crazy. Now with this logo, obviously, Seattle Mariners, Mariners, nautical system thing, the north, south, east, west thing in the middle. Look, I don't, I'm, I just, I don't really know, okay? I don't really know about all that, so I don't want to make myself look like more of an idiot than I already probably look like. But it definitely feels like it really encapsulates the essence of what they're trying to do, and the shading is really well, and the sharpness, I love sharpness in logos. And obviously, there's always room for a baseball. You gotta represent the league, mate. You gotta represent the sport. <laughs> but I just, this is a, this is a cool logo. It's a, it does well. Number 15, and we've got the Colorado Rockies. I love looking at the mountain range. I love looking at the ski fields, the way they depict the mountains. And this looks really, really awesome. It's got the sharp parts jutting out in the middle. I'm not too sure what that's meant to represent, but it looks cool anyway. Uh, the baseball looks like it's being thrown. It's a really nice logo. It feels very cool, calm, and collected. It just feels very antique-ish, and I like it. It's very different. It's a different type of style of logo. Number 14, we've got the Philadelphia. Your Phillies. This logo pops out your screen. Obviously, it is in the shape of a baseball field. Absolutely no idea what that white thing in the middle is meant to represent. Like, I just have no clue. But the Phillies has done very kind of just like one kind of shrove feel and the two stars on the top of the eyes. I just think this logo comes together quite well. It's definitely up there. It's not the greatest logo you've ever seen. But at least it's representing baseball with the field, which is very different to everyone else. I haven't seen a logo. I don't believe there is a logo that actually utilizes the baseball field in their logo. Number 13 and we've got the Toronto Blue Jays. This one is really representative. You know, this one really shows who you are. I'm not too sure why the Toronto and Blue Jays is done in different kind of fonts, but it's it, it works. The Blue Jays font is awesome. Toronto just kind of straight up where that's where we're from. I really love the creativeness of this with the actual Blue Jay bird and the Canadian uh, maple leaf, is it? I believe it's a maple leaf. You guys will know that with all these logo rankings videos, I love when there's these type of style logos when they're actually bringing character into 
it, they're bringing their actual, you know, representation of their team. For example, Blue Jays, they've got a Blue Jay bird on it. I love those style of logos. Next up, we have got the Tampa Bay Rays. Apparently, they've got the worst stadium in baseball, but they don't have the worst logo in baseball. This logo is, is Ripper. They've actually got the home plate, the first base. We can't see first base and third base because the, the Rays is over the top of it. And they've got second base up top. Now, when I look at the Rays, I don't know whether that's meant to mean like Manta Rays or it's meant to mean Sting Rays or it's meant to mean like the actual Sun Rays. But I kind of get a feel it's the Sun because of the shining light, the, like the shine off the R. Without that brightness of the sun like glimmer, I don't think this logo would be rated anywhere near this close to the top 10. But it's definitely close to the top 10 now with that glimmer. Close now baby, we're close now baby. Number 11, we have got the Kansas City Royals. Woohoo! Looking elegant baby, looking elegant here. The colour scheme isn't fantastic, doesn't pop out onto the screen. But the logo itself is, is I love it, it's, it's, it's mad. Woohoo! And we have got the Detroit Tigers. I know there's many people like, oh, it's just a D. It's not just a D. I honestly think this looks like a Tigers eye to me. Obviously, the Detroit Tigers. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And chuck this back at 27 or whatever like that. I know it's edgy, but it's just still going to be a D. But I think this is trying to represent like a Tigers eye. And it's very edgy. It's very kind of not sharp, but it's sharp in places. And it's just got a lot of difference to it than I've seen with a lot of other logos. And it's crazy that we with all the kind of lines and everything that's going on in this logo, it's still quite simple in the same aspects. So number nine, and we've got the Atlanta Braves. I get the feeling that Major League Baseball teams love cursive writing. Like, they love the cursive writing when it comes to their team name. There's nothing really to describe here, but it, it does it for me, you know? There's nothing really to describe, but it does it. Number eight, and we've got the first team that is actually inclusive of the city that they're from. We've got the New York Mets. How cool is this logo? It's literally encapsulated inside a baseball. The city is just represented perfectly, and it just looks so cool. It is incredibly athletic viewing. I love the fact that despite it's so simple and the fact that it's a circle, now you guys know I hate it when things are just basically in a circle or a triangle or whatever, but the Mets looks really cool cool and defined. You've got the actual city of New York in the background. I love this logo. It is a, one of my favorite logos personally, actually. This next one is a bit of an interesting one. New York Yankees, everyone around the world knows the NY. Why is that not the logo? This logo is incredibly creative. I, I like it. There's the baseball bat. I haven't actually seen a bat in any of the logos so far. I've seen balls everywhere. But, and including this one. And it looks like the bat is swinging at the ball. And the top hat is very out there. It's very abrasive in my opinion. So it's a really interesting and creative logo. I love it. It definitely deserves to be up this high. It just doesn't make sense why they changed from the older logo, in my opinion. Mm, damn, I'm so sorry, number six. We've got the Los Angeles Dodgers. Ah. Oh. Oh man, you're so close. You're so damn close to greatness. Only one spot out of the top five. Number six is something to write home about because it is still quite good at 30 teams. Like I said, everyone loves to do the cursive writing here in this sport and it works quite well. But the thing that puts it so high up for me is the ball actually looking like it's moving fast. I love when logos do this. It looks like it's attacking. Number five. We're in the top five, son. Chicago White Sox. This is how you utilize your team name and make it edgy with no real kind of creativity in the sense of a baseball or the pitch or the bat. You know, it's simply just socks. It's edgy, it's sharp, it really doesn't. The S is like, it's just so suave, it's cool. It's it's something that you would definitely have, you'd love to have on merchandise in my opinion. Like, I'm not even that big of a Chicago White Sox fan. I went there, I supported them for their games and I bought merchandise but the thing is that I actually prefer wearing their merchandise because I think it looks really cool. Ooh, number four, and this logo pops on your screen, doesn't it? The Baltimore Orioles. It just looks incredible. The Oriole, the actual, you know, representative of the team, is perched on top of the eye. It looks like it's genuinely just chilling out. It kind of has a face that looks a little bit angry, if I'm actually being honest with you. But there's so much depth in this bird. There's so much actual kind of thought process gone into the little details. And there's no real background. There's no background, there's shading, but there's no background. And this is just And the bronze medal goes to the Milwaukee Brewers. Damn, baby, this is just 
sweet. It makes me feel like a brewery. It honestly, it, it, it feels like a logo for a brewery in Milwaukee. Is that gold or is it like a dirty kind of skin covering yellowy brown? Like, I don't know, but it just does it. It really is effective. Brew is all connected with each other, but it's done put to the forefront, the baseball in the background. It really does come out at you. It really does make you think more about it, and I just think that it actually really is a phenomenal logo. Number two, and we got the Miami Marlins. This was very difficult to decipher between one and two. I was actually up until the last second before putting this here, still considering whether I was going to put it number one or number two. You know, this is just creativity to a T. Everything to do with this looks phenomenal. Miami, Miami Vice. No need to say any more, buddy. So, gee whiz, that's that's done. That's I'm done. Man. See you later. Retro. A retro is the word I'm looking for here, Emma. Bingo. You got it, son. It looks like it's jumping out of the water. It looks like with those red things around the side that it's. It's jumping out very fast, in my opinion. Actually, I do think that's the lining of the baseball, and I, I'm putting a two. I'm putting a two, but it definitely could have been one. This is an amazing logo. Uno numero, number one, we've got the St. Louis Cardinals. Chicago Cubs fans, turn your head away now, because unfortunately, you know, Cardinals are on top. The St. Louis Cardinals are the bingo bango winners of the Maple League Baseball logo rankings. It's not incredible incredibly defined as a bird like it's not incredibly defined in comparison to what I found with the Orioles but it just looks like it owns this place it owns the place there it's perched on top of the bat it's got its claws around the bat so it owns the bat it owns this place like I just said it's watching you you know it's it's, it's calm right now but it's watching you out of the corner of its eye like it's it's it's, it's face is looking this way but the eyes looking that way so it's like it's always got you in its vision in my opinion I love how the C curves around the baseball bat. It's an incredible logo. It's done really well. It's simple yet effective, yet still, in my opinion, the number one logo in Major League Baseball. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up so that you're enjoying this content. There is plenty more teams, there is plenty more sports. If you want a specific sport to be done, go down there in the comment section and let me know what sport you'd like to be seeing a logo rankings for. If you aren't a part of BK Army yet, then uh, well, uh, what are you damn well doing, son? Go down there, hit the subscribe button when you're there going to the little thing on the link notification bell to get a notification every single time we upload baby and that's gonna do us for today guys thanks for watching catch you later